Holy crap, we found out something absolutely broken inside of Diablo 4 when it comes to power leveling your characters and upgrading your glyphs with never ever wasting another sigil again. Let's get into it. So guys, today I'm gonna show you all this amazing trick that we just figured out how to do. It allows you to not only infinitely reset your nightmare dungeon, but it allows you, as long as you're in a party, to get your sigils upgraded. So while my team is going through and completing blind burrows, I'm gonna go over the previous video of how I showed you guys how to do this, which apparently a bunch of people didn't like. I don't know why, it's an amazing method for power leveling. So what would you do before is you would get into a party like this, you crack your sigil, which you guys can see here, we're doing a blind burrows level 40 nightmare dungeon. And the way that you can infinitely reset this is, I'm the party leader, I'm gonna promote my teammate after we're done to be the party leader. He's going to leave the party, and then afterwards, he's going to go back into the dungeon. It's going to be reset, and then he's going to invite me and Reyna back to the party, and the dungeon will be reset. That is the basis of the entire video before. Now, we're adding one more step to today's video, okay? As you guys can see, my teammates are almost done finishing this up, just so I can show you this because we're going through and leveling up our glyphs and some characters. So this is how this works. I'm currently the party leader. When my teammates finish the map, we're gonna have one of our teammates go be right next to the boss. Now, as you guys know, when you kill the boss, it completes the dungeon, so therefore the sigil is consumed, right? No, wrong. So this is what happens. Before we fight the boss, we're gonna do the reset method. I'm gonna pass leadership to Muppet, and then he is going to leave. Then what happens is, is because he leaves, the dungeon is going to continue to be reset for him. Well, what this allows to happen is, is that me and Reyna can kill the dungeon boss because it is now our world. And we can get credit for killing the boss, doing the dungeon, and then upgrade our glyphs, get the item, like I just got this item in the last run, get the item for completing the dungeon, and then... I'm going to leave the party. We're going to get reinvited by Muppet. And then we're going to be able to do the entire dungeon all over again. Okay, so how this works in, the, in as far as a rotation is, is whoever becomes the party leader, like Muppet, he's going to leave. So he's not going to be able to get credit for completing the dungeon as well as upgrading glyphs. But me and Reyna are. So what will happen on the next run is that Demon will be party leader or Muppet. He'll make me the party leader as I am now, and then I'll leave, and then Reyna and Muppet can kill the boss and get credit, and then we would just rotate it out, so then next time Reyna doesn't get credit, and then me and Demon do, or Muppet does. Demon Muppet's his name. So guys, we're gonna go through and showcase this in just a second, they're just about done. It's an absolute crazy method. We, we actually did this by accident in our previous run. I wasn't paying attention, and uh, Reyna went to go fight the boss and I was like, oh crap, let me make Muppet leader left and then Reyna killed the boss and then all of a sudden we were able to complete and I was like, oh crap, now we got to pick a new sigil to do dungeon resets, nightmare dungeon resets. And then we, le I left the team and we joined on Muppet, the dungeon's completely reset guys. This is absolutely insane. So let's go ahead and break this down as soon as we finish. Okay, so now the dungeon is clear and this is what we're going to do. We're going to make demon party leader. He's going to become the party leader. Remember, you have to deny the world change. You have to deny the world change. Okay, you have to do that or this does not work. Okay, this does not work. So he left. So now my level 100 teammate is going to go kill the boss. Okay, he's going to go kill the boss. You guys can see the boss is happening right here. The fight, I'm going to head that way. Right, I'm going to head that way just, just to, so we can kind of get close there. Boom, completed. I'm going to get the item, right? And then I have to go upgrade my glyph, which is absolutely insane. Boom, it's on me. I'm gonna upgrade my glyph right now, Crusher. We're gonna go ahead and upgrade this. Boom. Now, after that, okay, now he can come upgrade this and do just fine. I'm going to leave the party, okay? I'm the party leader, so I'm going to leave, okay? Now, the original party leader who I made to leave first, which was Muppet, he is going to reinvite. So now what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to send him a little message, whisper, invite. 
And then as soon as he invites me back in, the dungeon should be completely reset. So he invited me in, see how the Nightmare Dungeon is still on the map, ready to go. We're gonna go back in, and then the Nightmare Dungeon should be completely reset. This is absolutely insane. Boom, the Nightmare Dungeon is reset with the same affixes. Tier 40, ready to go. This is absolutely insane. This is just monumental for not only farming insane XP, but as well as leveling up your glyphs. So a couple of notes here. I do really encourage you to do this in the full party. So that way multiple members can get access. So like now I've gone twice and Muppet's only gone once. So now Reyna will go twice and be out. So that way me and Muppet can get credit twice. This is absolutely insane for farming gear, farming XP, and leveling up your glyphs where before we couldn't. This is absolutely insane, guys. Get out there. Do this. It's an amazing dungeon. Not only... Uh, nightmare dungeon reset but an absolute bomb strategy to level up all your characters and get your glyphs leveled up at the same exact time and not only that if you're looking for key pieces of gear like i am like we, i got two things here which is just you know they're kind of whatever but if you're looking for a particular item nightmare dungeons is the way to go and now we found a way to do this if you're just in a two man then it's going to be every other person that's going to be able to get it so you'll get it every other time this is amazing it's crazy i we actually literally just stumbled upon this i'm so excited to bring this to you guys so get out there have fun try this do it before blizzard ends up nerfing it or exploiting it or whatever you want to call it just nerfs it into the ground or something but it's absolutely insane guys so like the video comment down below make sure to subscribe if you guys are new and as always stay gaming and i'll see you guys in the next one peace